It's only when you get to the end of a course that you begin to realise how much work you've produced. This is just a fraction of it. A lot of our artwork, and the photography too, is about the town and how it's changed over the last few years. I think people would be interested in seeing these. Hopefully, they'll even want to buy them. I think they would work well together as an exhibition. Great idea. We could call it The Changing Pace of Swanton. Well then, let's see if we can find somewhere local to put on an exhibition. Maybe not a large gallery, but it'll be great to see if someone's interested in seeing what we've produced. We are two local artists, Steve and Asia, and we would like to see if we can exhibit our work in the exhibition space of the council offices and sports centre during November. I enclose a few examples of our work, paintings and photographs, which show Swanton Town as it is changing. We hope you will find that they show the town in an imaginative and exciting way. We think that the work should appeal to everyone who visits your centre. The images we have attached are an example of what we have produced and we would welcome the opportunity to meet you and show further examples of the range of our work. We look forward to meeting you in the near future. Is there anywhere else that we could persuade to put up the exhibition? What about the library or art centre? That small commercial gallery that does the framing might be persuaded to sell some of our work if we've exhibited in the town and had some newspaper publicity. We've prepared on the CD a sequence of how the different images are related. You'll see that there are three themes, housing, newcomers to the town, shopping. There is a mixture of watercolours, oils and photography. That should appeal to all the kinds of people that come in here. There are 20 pieces of work. We brought in four examples, giving you an idea of the typical content, style of work and scale. OK, that's good. Well, you mentioned that you hope to sell these. We don't mind giving space for displays, but we don't want any commercial activity in the foyer. That's fine. We're more than happy to have the publicity for our work. We can attach business cards to our work, giving our contact details, or we could produce a leaflet. OK, that's great. Let's talk dates. I was happy that our preparation helped us to convince the organisation to hang our pictures. I was very nervous and aware of being a new artist rather than someone who is established. Visiting the organisation and having some idea of the type of exhibitions the manager accepted was a great help. I was aware of the need to sell ourselves as people who are capable and reliable. In the future, when we approach galleries to try and sell our work, we need to think about how much to take with us and what selection works best. I think it's important that learners begin to promote their work externally from the very outset. Um, it helps them to engage with employers and network for future job opportunities, but it also gives them the confidence to stand up and talk about their product, their, their, essentially their skills in a positive light and allows them to develop that um, awareness for um, being a, a relentless self-publicist, which of course is uh, so important to being in the creative industries. If I was to promote my work, promote my work it would be because of the internet, because that's probably one of the most used sources of like, visual aids, because mo mainly everybody has the internet or knows how to use the internet. That's probably one of the best ways to have your work seen and noticed by others.